Okay, so let's talk mock-ups. Now, with my designs, they already have mock-ups already installed into this software that you can go ahead and use. They are free to use within my designs and they work really, really well. The only thing is, is that not all of the mock-ups within my designs are styled the way that you might want them to be. So you might be limited um, in the type of mock-ups that you can actually get from my designs. But Regardless, I'm going to share with you how you can get the um, and use the mockups within my designs themselves. And then I'm also going to share with you the process on what I currently do, which is um, purchase premium mockups from somewhere like Creative Market or if you can find them in Creative Fabrica, use Photoshop to edit the actual layers of the design and then import them into my designs. Okay, now please don't be overwhelmed. I'm going to share with you the entire process step by step. So there's no overwhelm here. Easy peasy and you can easily go ahead and get this done. Okay, so let's start with the, the mockups from my designs. So in order to get your mockups created, all you need to do is again, ensuring that we have all of our designs, all of our artwork selected here. So we've got six of six, so we know that's uh, all selected. Now what we need to do is go to the mock-up section of my designs. Go ahead and click on the mock-ups button and we want to go to create image mock-up. So let's go ahead and open up that section. And then here is where we're going to select all of our mock-ups um, so that we, we can easily and quickly um, insert our designs into these mock-ups. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to head on over to the top here and we want to select wall art. So go to wall art and then here under public mockups is going to give all of the mockups that we can use for our designs. So here you can see because we are currently in October, so there's going to be a few Christmas um, themed designs here, uh, depending on when you are uh, watching this, um, we'll obviously um you know, these mock-ups may or may not change. They may be updated. Who knows, my designs might even update even more mock-ups for you in the future. So you can see here the description of each individual mock-up. So here we've got a 16 by 20 horizontal thin canvas Christmas mock-up. Um, and do know that they, you know, not all of them are Christmas themed. So if we just keep scrolling down, here we go. So we can see like a bedroom themed um, mock-up. So this is a 24 by 36, which is perfect. So if we wanted to use our two by three ratio, we could go ahead and use this frame. Um, they've got all different sizes. So again, 24 by 36. Um, you've even got like a horizontal themed mock-ups as well. So if you were creating artwork that's horizontal, um, you can go ahead and use these frames. We've got 18 by 24 and so on and so forth. So I'll let you go ahead and search through the My Designs frames and mock-ups that you can select from. Um, I'm just going to choose any random frame here, just making sure that it's going to fit within my two by three ratio. Really, I can pick anything here. So let's go to the 18 by 24 ratio. Now for 18 by 24, um, that ratio, I believe is a three by four ratio. So let's go ahead and select that. So once it's selected, you're going to want to go to this area here. So here where it's got import file slots, let's go to the three by four ratio. Very good. And then once that's selected, we are going to select our output file type. So we want to make sure that we are um, adding these designs or these images into one of the open file slots, which are labeled mockup, because these are what we're going to um, list in our Etsy listing. So let's go to mockup one. We want to change the file type to PNG. I just prefer PNG, it's a higher quality image. And then let's go to generate preview. Okay, so once that preview is ready to go, you can check to make sure if you um, are happy with the way that it looks. And then all you need to do is go ahead and click the generate mockups button. So go ahead and click generate mockups. Go to I confirm the action and then go to generate mockups. And then that's going to process in the very first mockup section here. So mockup one. Once that's all ready to go, we can go ahead and preview that to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and click on mock-up one to see what that looks like. Fantastic. You can actually make this a little bit bigger. See these dots here? Click on that and then you can actually see um, them in just a bigger bigger size here. So if I double click on mock-up, it'll show me the mock-ups for all of them across the board. And you can see 
Oh, they look fantastic. I'm really, really happy with those mock-ups. Very good. Okay, but now let's say that you wanted to create a custom mock-up. So using a premium mock-up that you have purchased from Creative Market and you want to then upload that into my designs. Now that's also a pretty simple process. So let's go ahead and run through that now. So I'm here on Creative Market and I went ahead and just in the search bar here, just typed in um, nursery mock-ups uh, Photoshop um, and then a whole range of different um, premium mock-ups um, appeared. The one that I liked and um, from a, a creator that I've used previously is uh, Muse Photos. So Muse Photos has a range of different styled premium mock-up photos and um, images that you can use in Photoshop. Now I really like the style of this. I thought it would go really well with our Safari theme, um, especially like ones like this and this. So yeah, just go ahead and find a premium mock-up that you like. Go ahead and purchase that and then download those files and then you're going to want to open those in your um, photo, either Photoshop or Photopea if you're using the free version of Photoshop. Now, I just thought it might be worth mentioning, if you are looking for premium photos, you might want to see if you can grab a bundle such as this one. So this is a bundle of um, multiple photos that you can use. The reason for that, and perhaps you want to maybe um, make sure that you're purchasing from the same creator. And the reason for that is is that you keep consistency throughout your images. You don't want to have like um, one image that looks different to another image that looks different to another image. You know, having everything look cohesive um, is going to appeal to your customer, making sure that, you know, everything um, looks professional and, uh, you know, it's going to appeal to your um, dream customer. Okay, so that's just something that you want to keep in mind when you are selecting your premium images. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and open these within Photoshop Photoshop, and then I'm going to share with you what you're going to need to do, um, a very quick step in order to prepare these and get them ready for my designs. Okay. Okay. So before we go ahead and open those Photoshop files, I just want to share with you some instructions that we're going to need from my designs in order to actually upload these um, custom mock-ups. Okay. So let's go down to where it says assets and click on assets, and then you want to go to where it says mock-ups. So click on mock-ups, and then here is where we're going to upload our custom mock-ups into my designs. So in order to get our instructions, let's just go on over to wall art and let's go on over to where it says upload mock-up and then here is where our instructions are going to be. So essentially what it says here without having to read through every single um, information here, when we go and import our designs into Photoshop or Photopea, what we need to do is we need to rename our layer, so our smart object layer, the layer that's going to contain our artwork, we need to rename it so that my designs can understand what layer they're going to insert our design into. So in this scenario, what we want to do is we want to find the smart object, so that's the layer, and we want to rename it MD dash image dash and then you can also add a prefix so if you had um, multiple mock-ups in the one image you could add one two three four etc in this case we're just going to do single images because we are going to create single listings um, so really we all we need is md dash image dash one for example okay so i'm going to copy that so we're going to copy that and then we're going to take that into our Photoshop um, mock-up and then we're going to rename the layer. Okay, I'm going to share with you how to do that now. Okay, so I have got one of the premium mock-up images ready to go. So essentially, the only step that you need to do here within Photoshop is rename the layer. So here you can see this here where it says your artwork here. This is the layer that we need to rename as per the instructions on my designs. So we copied that my designs um, layer name. So let's go ahead and double click on the your artwork here and go to command V or control V to paste. And then so we've got my MD dash image dash and just go one on that and then um, click out of that. And now that has been renamed. Essentially, that is all you need to do. So if you can use Photopea to do this, um, then by all means, go ahead and do that. But I have Photoshop, so I like to use Photoshop. When you're happy with the way that that um, has been renamed, all you need to do is re 
save this file. So go to um, file, save as, and then save this to your computer. Anywhere on your computer is fine. Once you're back in my designs, let's go on over to um, assets again, mockups, and then upload mockup. We're going to choose mockup and then go ahead and find that um, mockup that we just created. Go to open. While that's uploading, what I would do is go on over back to Photoshop and start saving or renaming and saving some of the other mockups that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now while we're waiting for this to upload. Okay, so what you can do here is you can rename this mockup. So I'm just going to take out these dashes. Very good. Um, design layers, we'll leave that as one. Now we want to make sure that the category for this is wall art and go to upload. And then that's going to upload it to our wall art custom mockup section within my designs. So if we go now to wall art, there we go. So there is our custom mockup ready to go. Now, I just want to let you know that you only and going to ever need to do this once. This is pretty much the setup process for my designs. Once you have purchased your premium mockups, you've downloaded, you've renamed the layers, you've inserted them into my designs. That's it. You're not going to have to do that over and over and over again. You're just going to need to do it once. And for any future listings that you create, it's already going to be done for you, ready to go. Okay, I'm going to upload a couple more um, mockups here and then we can move on to the next step. Okay. Okay, so that is four premium mockups all uploaded into my designs, ready for me to use. Now that you've got all of these mockups ready, let me go ahead and share with you how you would now insert all of your artwork into these mockups. Very similar to the process that I shared just before, except now we're going to be using our own mockups. All right, so let's go back to our listings. Again, ensuring that all of our listings are selected. Let's go to mockups and create image mockup. Now, instead of using the public mockup section here, what we want to do is we want to select the custom mockups, making sure that we have wall art selected. Let's minimize public mockups and select custom mockups. And now all of our mockups are here ready to use. Now, depending on what size frame you have in these mockups, will determine what file slots you're going to be using. Now, in this case, I don't have exact dimensions of these frames, so I'm just going to have to eyeball most of them. Just having a quick look over them, they look like about a three by four ratio. So I'm going to stick with a three by four ratio and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead. And um, another great thing about uh, my designs is you can actually create multiple mockups at the same time. So multiple, multiple mockups, I guess you could say. All right. So to do multiple mockups, all you need to do is click the toggle button over to multiple mockups and then go ahead and select your first mockup. Click the tick button and then here in the input file slots, let's go ahead and select the two by three ratio. Actually, sorry, let's go the three by four ratio. I think the three, five, three by four ratio is going to work. Let's go ahead and save this to mockup file slot two. We must already have something in mockup two. That's OK. What we're going to do, we're going to override that. So that's fine. Fine. So let's go mockup two. Let's go to PNG and let's go to generate preview and let's have a look to see what this looks like. I think they're saying that um, the output file slot has been duplicated. Oh, here. Okay, so it's already selected a mock-up. So let's go ahead and close that off. There we go. That should work better. So let's go back here. Go to, um, sorry, three by four. That's fine. Mock-up two. And again, generate preview. It's going to take a couple of minutes. So while that's doing its magic, you can go ahead and do the same for all the other mockups. So we've got mockup here. So let's go ahead and tick that one. Again, we want three by four. Save that to mockup three and we want a PNG. Ticking again. So you're going to see them come up here. We want three by four. Mockup four is fine and we want PNG. And then the final one, that looks again, three by four, mock up five, PNG. Okay, now let's go back to the first one to see if that's generated the preview. Fantastic. So we're going to see our artwork appear here. Let's go to the second one. Always generate a preview just to make sure that it fits well within the frame. 
and I'm going to go here and generate preview and here and generate preview and while that loads fantastic that looks so good okay let's go um, to mockup two wait for the preview to generate here is our mockup one looking great let's go here mockup two Excellent. They look fantastic. Okay, so just with a couple of clicks, we have now created four different mockups for our um, original artwork. And then by going to generate mockups, this is going to create four mockups for all of our artwork. So four mockups for all individual six designs that we have come up with. So let's go to generate mockups. It's going to ask you if you're happy to confirm. Go to I confirm the action and generate mockups. And then it's going to process 24 different mockups within our um, collection of listings here. And you're going to see them um, as it starts to process. You're going to see them appear here. So I think we created four different mockups. So we're going to have mockups from um, two all the way to five. Let that go ahead and process. And then when that's all finished, I'll share with you how that looks across all of the different designs here. And there we go, all of our designs are ready to go and ready to preview. So let's go ahead and have a look at the very first one. Click on that and then double click again. And then we're gonna see all of our designs. So now we've got the elephant, the giraffe, uh, what have we got here? The lion, the rhinoceros, the tiger, and the zebra already. Let's go and have a look at the, th uh, the third mock-up here. Double click and then all of our artwork appears. Let's go to the fourth one, make sure that looks right double click amazing isn't this just incredible this just completely blows my mind that it's so quick and easy to create such high quality mock-ups in like a matter of minutes it just I don't know about you but this is just mind-blowing for me <laughs> okay so there we go so there are all of our mock-ups all created and ready to go now all we need to do is list our products so I'll catch you in the next tutorial okay bye for now